We're right outside Ormond Beach, um, heading to Gambler Rogers Memorial. It's, um, I believe it's a state park. And it's right above, uh, I think about 12 or 15 miles above Daytona. Or maybe 12 or 15 miles above Ormond. Ormond is just right above Daytona. So AJ's got friends that live here in Ormond. And I just thought it was a cute little road. So just figured I'd show you a little bit of this little swamp area. Fishing hole right there. In a quarter mile. You know that's a fishing hole. Close to the water. Mm -hmm. Kind of scary, but. We are literally right off the side of the highway. Otherwise, I would get out, but I do not want to get out right here because there's just cars and mosquitoes and bugs everywhere. Now here's our little parking spot and we're about to put a camp, a tent up, a little bit better than the last couple places we've been. As a matter of fact, we got a fire pit. Oh wow, my husband already met friends. He's already over there talking, but that's great. <laughs> He's such a people person. So, picnic table and we're about ready to get this down. Oh, we got little lizards here. Okay, well this is our little tenting area. It's nice. It's very nice. I like it so much better than the other ones. We got river on one side, ocean on the other. Little tortoise there. He's running away from us. We're just on the road here at Gambler Rogers Memorial State Park. Oh, he's eating. Oh, maybe not. But I think he did. I think he took a like a bite of that grass. Get the munchies. <laughs> hey. Little munchy guys. So registered campers only. This is considered, I guess, the riverside. Uh, then on the other side would be right on the beach. We had a tent, so we figured we might want to get a little cover over on this side. Uh, the ranger said that from this riverside campground, you can get over to the beach, but he said it's close to close to a mile. I think he said a little over. 
doesn't seem that long, but yeah, we're gonna take his advice, and when we go back over to check out the ocean, we'll probably drive over. Get our fishing poles ready and go slaughter some sharks. <laughs> A little change from yesterday. No bears, no uh, mountain cats that we know of. <laughs> Saw a little bit of everything at Saw a little bit of everything at Wakaya Springs. A couple little deer. And then we did see a buck. We saw a family, a mom with a baby, wild turkeys, tortoises, otter, and we saw some gators. Smaller fish were bluegills and largemouth. A lot of little guppies hanging out where the people were swimming, probably for safety. And then we saw a bunch of schools of tilapia. This is a one circle, you go one way, and this would be how whenever the entrance ends. Camp site starting right over here at 35. We're down to 50 something, I believe. We're on camp number 48. 48, 48. because there's lots of little butterflies. There's a butterfly garden here. Hopefully we can get to it before it gets too dark. I'm up in your parking. Here's your outlet box. And can you pop it open, Adam, for me? Yeah. So, 210 You've, service is available lower with the, the two separate plugs. Top, so don't forget that because we tried to look at it and we were like, wow. I'm sure I got to go to the restroom, so I'm trying to hurry up. He talks for a long time. I know I like listening to, that, listen, listening to him talk, but he talks a long time. So I had to get over here so I can blow up the bed so I can get back to the restroom. Okay, so this is our tent. And he's going to be bringing me over some electric in a second. And we popped this up before we left. And we're just going to get in here and get my mattress set up. That's my bed. All right. Boom, there's my net. I'm gonna put that up there and then I'm gonna tear this up and I'll turn back on the camera. And voila, the magic has been done. I put my pair of sheets on. <laughs> that, that's funny, I just now seen that. But anyways, got my net up there, got our air mattress blown up. This is our heavy duty Master Force air. Nice. That you're in trouble. So now I'm just gonna go get our lanterns, and this is a little thing that I blow up the air mattress with. Heavy duty. Gotta go get our um, lantern and our flashlight just to have it for the middle of the night. Um, bathrooms, I believe, are just straight across from us. I'm gonna go charge that lantern before we bring it in. Just our little front porch and our nice Coleman fast pitch tent. It's nice. All right, we're taking a little break. A little break. We're gonna try some cherry and maple beef jerky from Bucky's. And we're at the Gambler Rogers Memorial where we paid $38.06 for a Riverside tent, number 48. Everything's great except for the Electrical post is really far, so we didn't have long enough of an extension cord, so we just went down to the Dollar General and bought one for like nine bucks, and we're good now. So we'll tell you how the beef jerky tastes. Let's see, actually, let's just open it up. We 
were warned that it was sweet mm -hmm. because it is the cherry maple. What do you think they had? Ten different kinds? Mm. I think they had ten different kinds. And they allowed you to sample it too. You can ask for a little piece to taste before you buy it. Now by the mm -hmm. pound, it's going to be $26.99. Yeah, we paid, um, let's see, it was like five something. It was five twenty-six for these two pieces. Adam gets the big one because he's big. And I'm going to say it, it's really good. It's sweet. It's fresh. Um, it it's got a good beats texture. The bag. It beats the bag. Dirty. It doesn't have a lot of stringy uh, no. toughness to it. It's pretty tender. Yeah. Sounds good. I got my steak seasoning. I got my steaks. Abby, look, I got my white claw. Dad's got a good light. Getting the grill going. That's the grill. It's a fire pit slash grill. Hi, Adam. Hello, how are you doing today? This is fabulous. The rain's left and the weather is great. We're using the bug tent. Uh, we didn't have to break out any extra water detail precautions, such as tarps. He's smoking in my tent. Oh. I am in the smoking porch. This is the smoking area. <laughs> the smoking porch? No. Correct. I'll let you get away with it Correct. right now. <laughs> the, the, the coals are almost ready for that big old juicy T-bone to go on there. It is not a T-bone. It's a New York strip. Oh, okay, well. I just, through the you know, but it's I just showed them, and we had one T-bone that we shared. Oh, no, we, we, we haven't had nothing but porterhouse for lay mignon and T-bone this whole time. That's why I live on a strict diet. Oh, Yeah. 